Whosoever commands the sea commands trade. Whosoever commands the trade of the world commands the riches of the world and consequently the world itself. This truth has remained unchanged since the dawn of human civilization. Controlling the waterways has led to untold riches, to the establishment and growth of economies, to the birth of new wealth. And this control has always begun at ports and harbors, places where cities have been founded, economies have been shaped, where global trade, commerce and culture has blossomed. Some of the world's greatest places share this heritage. New York, 20 million people, a global megapolis tracing its roots to 1664 when it was founded as a trading port by Dutch colonists. New York is the quintessential port territory through which people, goods, ideas and meanings have flowed and shaped the world. This is the Big Apple, the shining star of the West. While in the East, a sleeping fishing village evolved into one of the busiest ports of the world. Now, a magnet to the who's who of the globe, Hong Kong. Founded as a military port, it is now a region with a sophisticated service economy and as one of the world's largest financial centers with the highest concentration of corporate headquarters in the region. And then, there is the economic miracle. The Asian tiger, whose roar resounds around the world. Singapore. A free port, a kaleidoscope of many communities. Singapore not only bustles with commerce, it is also a key intellectual and cultural center with a very high developmental and happiness index. An inspirational model for South Asia and the world. And just like the ports of yore, which spawned entire economies and cultures on the east coast of India, a port called Krishna Patnam is emerging as India's largest port, the world's gateway to Southeast Asia. India's maritime trade is growing and Krishna Patnam is a modern deep water and high productivity port. Designed to sustain the growing demands of international trade. The Krishna Patnam port is doing for the region around it what the ports of New York, Hong Kong and Singapore did for their cities. It is becoming a multiplier of employment and industry, creating an ecosystem around the port, generating value in the region. Employment opportunities for the locals has made Krishna Patnam a better place to live. It's been six months I have joined Krishna Patnam port. I like working here, as everything is nice. Lots of facilities are available for us and safety is also there. We all will try to make it the number one port of India. We have entered into edible oil business in the year 2008 in West Bengal. After setting up there, we were looking forward to set up the industry in South India. Kisnapatnam port is providing us the various advantages, the pipeline which they are providing from the port to our factory. Discharge time was very less so that it will help to reduce the damage cost which is huge in our industry. Kisnapatnam port has helped immensely in growing of this area. Firstly, it has provided employment to thousands of people who were unemployed in this area, development of the local village, the standard of living. Secondly, it has increased the business of the local market. I live in Mutkur and have studied up to 10th class. I am a local guy and my parents also stay here. So it was very difficult for me to go out and find a job. As the port has come here, I have got a good job. I think the future for me and my children will be safe here.
total India lo chesi oka I used to work outside India and have a total experience of 10 years. I came to know about Krishna Patnam port as this was nearby. I joined here and also brought my family to Nellore. The company is taking care of our welfare in all aspects. The port is a part of our family and after the start of Krishna Patnam port we are leading our lives happily. Krishna Patnam port came into existence in 2006. Before that this place was nothing. I did not have any job myself but now I have a small business and own a provision store. I am doing very well and I am very happy. There are so many benefits with the advent of Krishna Patnam. Not only the local people but outsiders were benefited. Maritime commerce has always been a powerful factor behind urbanization and Krishna Patnam is no exception. The port is breathing life into the region. In only its first decade, Krishna Patnam port has begun to positively impact the social indicators around it. Yet another chapter in the history lesson that teaches us that ports open up a horizon to endless possibility, to long-term sustainable economic growth and all-round development. Ports have been and will always remain the gateways to the socio-economic and cultural developments of regions. The lessons of history. pave the way to the future